From KVOA, we've got you covered. This is News for Tucson, live at 5. Well, good Monday evening. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Priscilla Casper. The University of Arizona women's basketball team came up just short of winning that national championship on Sunday, but the community is still extremely proud of its team and the history they made. News 4 Tucson's Mark Mingura joining us live from the university with more on the heartfelt homecoming. Mark. That's right, Priscilla. This tournament run catapulted this program into the national spotlight. And while they fell just short of winning the championship game, they won the heart of the Tucson community. The team came into Arizona Stadium with thousands of fans ready to celebrate their incredible season, a season in which they surpassed all expectations. It was insane, especially after we got to the Sweet 16 and we started making like history for ourselves. It was just awesome and to have our fans and family there, it was incredible. Many of these players came from a six win team back in 2018. Now they made it one point shy of a national championship. An incredible feat in such a short amount of time. I felt like I had to pinch myself the whole tournament. It really hasn't really settled in and honestly, I don't feel now like we just played in a national championship game. I feel like it was a great run, but it all hasn't settled in. After upsetting powerhouse UConn in the final four, this underdog team captured the hearts of all those who struggled through the challenges of this past year. The national spotlight was on this game and our team. And I think, as I said, the whole country, the whole world adopted our team against the quote blue bloods. So I, I couldn't be prouder. Resiliency, fight, passion. Ward's head coach Adia Barnes used to describe this year's team, a group of young women that she says will always have a special place in her heart. When you're a coach that has your team, like that your team plays hard for, it's not me, it's them. And um, that's all I can ask for. So win or lose, I'm proud. Now, this is not a team that's hanging on to that last second shot on Sunday. This year's run has them expecting to be right back in the championship race next March. We've got you covered from the U of A. I'm Mark Mangura, News 4 Tucson. All right, definitely making Tucson proud. And the team's homecoming began this morning as fans welcomed them back to Tucson. News 4 Tucson's Frankie McLister was outside of Arizona Stadium when the homecoming event kicked off. Well, it is safe to say that it was, in fact, a very warm welcome for the University of Arizona. Women's basketball teams returned to the old Pueblo from San Antonio. Gates opened at 10 a.m. this morning for the Welcome Home Cats event, which was in coordination with the Pima County Health Department. So in order to make that happen, many rules and regs had to be followed. And the stadium was operating at 15% capacity, and all campus rules were in effect as well. This includes mask wearing at all times. Stadium entrance did all need to complete the University of Arizona daily wellness check, and social distancing was, of course, encouraged and more. The event was delayed by 45 minutes as the team experienced a light delay, but that just did not stop many fans from waiting outside the gates. I'm so proud of what, where we've come. And a lot of people are due that credit all the way from uh, Mary Roby, Rocky LaRose, all the way up to Adia. It was the most exciting run we've seen in any sport in a long time. Uh, these girls, the coaches, the staff, the fans, uh, it, I, 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 I can't even speak and I talk a lot. Well, if that last one doesn't get you, then I am not quite sure what will. The event was live streamed, so if you missed it in person, you can catch it over on our KVOA Facebook page. We've got you covered from Wildcat Country. Bear down, Frankie McLister, News for Tucson.